Seth, we're, we're at this FQXI conference on the physics of the observer and what happens. And one of the topics we're talking about is the, the gap between what's alive and what's not alive, life and not life. Why is that a relevant subject here in understanding the deep physics? Well, I mean, it's just an interesting question, what's alive and what's not. And we're familiar with biological life on our planet, which is based on DNA and RNA. Um, and, but it would be like, nice to have a notion of life, just life in general. I mean, maybe even nightlife, that would be great. So, but if you think of life, life processes information, it reproduces with variation. So it takes in information and energy from its surroundings. It processes that information and energy to reproduce, and then it exhibits variation. Because it exhibits variation, it exhibits natural selection. Um, now, that's enough for me. So I'm completely fine with having you know, a computer program that's uh, taking in information, processing, reproducing, and reproducing with variation. I mean, this is what we call a computer virus. I'm happy with that being alive. I don't think we need anything more than that for something to be alive. Uh, what are the opposite points of view? I mean, because most people will, would, would not say that a computer virus is alive. Well, some people don't even say that a virus is alive, right? Because right, a virus right. can't reproduce on its own. It needs right, a, a right, host, like right. a, a cell in order to, to reproduce. Right. A, a, a virus and a biological virus is sort of on the borderline between life and, and not life and helps one defined biological life, so that, that's clear. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm just, I think, you know, the, the border is fuzzy. So I say, let's just go for it. Let's like just have anything that can reproduce with variation and that undergoes natural selection. Let's just call it alive and have done. <laughs> what, what, what is the relationship between a, a life and the environment and how it deals with the environment? Yeah, so, so um, you know, if you have something that's reproducing with variation, you need free energy from the environment. Free energy is energy that's available to use, to do something with. Now, living systems are using that to process information and to reproduce. If they're reproducing with variation, they're taking this free energy, they will very naturally, by natural selection, they'll adapt to be able to take advantage of different forms of free energy in their environment. Because life is, um, is, is taking energy from the environment, in a sense, going the opposite way from the second law of thermodynamics, which, which tends to go the other direction. So life are these little pockets of, 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 of taking energy from the environment to, to create information. Yeah, so they tend to focus the free energy in there and create a bunch of waste heat out yeah, there. Yeah. And human beings are the worst about <laughs> yeah. this, like right. hogging all the free energy in the environment and creating all the waste. Yeah, but, but by you uh, giving this very loose definition of life... Uh, oh, so no, it's a tight definition because okay, it why? just says reproduce, it's very well defined. The, if you want to make it, you know, apply more no, no. just... Okay, so I, I grant you, uh, I grant you that the definition is tight, but the applications become very fuzzy. Oh, it becomes broad, yeah. Yeah, sure. uh, it, but that does not lose, does not lose the... Uh, uh, the, the, the sense of what we traditionally think about life? Yeah, I mean, it, it means that there are other forms of life than just DNA and RNA-based life. Well, DNA and RNA-based life is just the, are just the mechanisms by which it occurs. That's not the, 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 the real generalization of life, uh, biological life. It, you, you could have had some other system than DNA and RNA and have, have a similar output. Maybe this is the most efficient or who knows. Uh, but that's very different than uh, a, a computer virus being alive. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But but I mean, you know, you know, uh, uh, hey, life is there to live. And if who are we to deprive <laughs> computer viruses of life? Mind you, I, I would like to get rid of these computer viruses. I would like to deprive them of life if I could. <laughs>